Um, if you were wondering why there wasn't a Leaf game on Saturday night, so am I. But the, re the actual uh, reasoning is that the Leafs were in Sweden, along with three other National Hockey League teams, for their global series. And uh, a lot of eyes, really all the eyes, were on William Nylander, um, the, the biggest arguably Swedish hockey player in the world. And I got to give this kid a lot of credit. Not only did he score the tying goal in Friday's win over Detroit, Leafs went on to win that game, but yesterday in overtime, this was around 10.30 a.m. our time, Nylander in OT cuts as good as good. So everyone's there to see a local hero be the hero. And it cometh the moment, cometh the William. This, was, this is the type of thing, that's his dad, Michael Nylander, by the way. Like he was in a Green Day mosh pit going crazy. <laughs> so I just, I, I can't say enough how impressive it is for a kid to kind of rise to the occasion like this. It's very difficult to do. And he did it not just in one game, but in both of them, technically. So uh, the Leafs had a good weekend taking four out of four points. This replay is kind of worth it. Uh, Riley here with a great block, Morgan Riley. And then away goes number 88, and uh, and you see just the price tag on re-signing him going up, 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 up. Oh. Went up another $500,000 right about there. <laughs> um, so, I mean, just as, as a Leaf, so I know you're a big-time Leaf fan. Yeah. On, on one side, great, Leafs get four to four points, Nylander's the hero. I'm, but I can't, I can't help but keep going back to the fact that he's a free agent in a couple months, really. It feels, well, it's longer than that, but you know what I'm saying, July 1st of next year. How do you look at that moment? I mean, we were talking about it before they left, and I know there was some sort of grumps about kind of them going over there and the, taking them out of their regular routine and their sleep and how it's going to affect the season. But, I mean, to see, uh, I, you know, I'm going to call him a kid, a kid like that in his home like that, and we talked about his Nana being able to see it. And it, it just, I think it's, it's the perfect example of when, you know, you hope a moment goes a certain way because you know he was hoping it went that way. And it did. And I'm just, uh, yeah, couldn't be happier for him. And, and you know. Get that money, Nylander. Get that money. That free Damn. money. Price is going up. Some Leaf fans, I know Leaf fans enough where they'll focus more on the contract than any result this season. Mm -hmm. How do you look at that? When I see that, though, all I think about is being under that kind of pressure and being able to rise to the occasion. I feel like for him, the reason why he was able to do it, not once, but twice, like two different games and be that hero is because this is like, this was the first time and when is he going to be back? in Sweden, in front of his entire family, Nana included, to be able to show off and show out like he did. And he did it. And I, I love that kind of story. And yes, the price tag, I feel like the price tag is not just going up there. I, I, I think that as the season continues, uh, we could be seeing, you know, a couple of other teams maybe wanting to oh, grab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's, but there's, hopefully there's, he stays. There's plenty of interest out there. Um, again, I, the Leafs have played 17 games this season. He has a point in every one of those games. Mm. And I, I personally, and I think we've all done this at different points of our career, I think this is a universal professional truth. People who bet on themselves and win inspire most of us. Like Fred Van Vliet in this city for a long time had bet on himself as the mantra. Wasn't drafted was kind of humiliated draft night, had a ton of family around him, didn't go his way. He was, I'm going to bet on myself. William Nylander could have signed before the season. Mm -hmm. He says, no, 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 no. I'm going to make Mitch Marner money. No, no, no. And the Leafs kind of laughed at that. Well, who's laughing now? He's one of the best players in the National Hockey League. Now, it's still, it's not December yet. Uh, you know, wake me up when November ends. I know that's not the exact Green Day song, but right now it's inspiring to see this kid operate like that. One Morgan Riley note, because we showed Morgan on the winning goal yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the, the job that William Nylander and some of the Leafs did with fans in Sweden, because I was, I was uh, hearing a, a friend of mine, Steve Dangle, who was covering this uh, for his podcast in Sweden. There are people from all over the world at this thing in Sweden. It's not just Swedish fans. So the Leafs have run to a lot of people, and they've been amazing. Morgan Riley met a young fan who was named after him. And it was just, a, if we could just run this a little bit. Her jaw was on the floor here as this went along. And I, if you know Morgan at all, this is nothing new to Morgan. This is kind of who he is. No, he knows how to do this. And this, this is yeah. just one of many awesome fan interactions that the Leafs had. And quite frankly, uh, the NHL needs going forward. And I thought the Leafs in general, you know, I've criticized the Leafs now and again in my time. 
Yeah. I think they did a heck of a job over the weekend. I thought this was great. Look, maybe, really maybe this was the kind of trip they needed. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe we'll see. We'll see when they get back on the ice at home, or you know. But this this could be the the turnaround point. This is the sweetest thing I've ever seen. Isn't it? <laughs> Isn't it sweet? Yeah. Oh. This was after a practice, an open practice, and it was just, it was a lot of that. And, and William Nylander also was very, very busy. Anyway, a successful trip, and uh, the Leafs are going to come home and be tired for a month and lose a lot of games. So that's Stop. how it's going to go. No, no, they're, I'm telling you. We're I'm telling you. As a team. They're like, exhausted. I'm, oh so, I'm not saying a rip. We were going in a good direction. We were direction. getting somewhere. You know what? Or they might not. Yeah, or they might not. Or Mitch they Marner might not. getting 400 assists. 400 assists, Mitch Marner. Hitting that. Positivity. You know what? I take it back. Leafs are going to win the cup. <laughs>